Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, early evening, Monday, Monday evening here, December 16th, 2024, 5.11 p.m. California time. Got another earthquake out here coming into the uh, northern California region, this time a 4.0 showing up there. Further downward inland here into the, uh, well, that's it looks like a surface adjustment quake, if that is indeed the depth of the earthquake, 5.6 miles below the surface. 4.0, just the latest quake here around the northern California area. Of course, we are watching this region pretty closely because this uh, has a little potential for some larger scale movement than what we've seen here recently. Of course, that seven pointer coming in uh, just over a week and a half ago. There is that 4.0 showing up on the Petrolia station. Dinsmore as well. Looks like there was a secondary earthquake. Let's see. Uh, not quite as big, obviously, but it does look like uh, maybe a, uh, another three-pointer coming in there with the amplitude level that's coming in from these two seismograph stations. USGS, um, well, there's a four-pointer. There was a 2.8 prior to that. There, again, there's another earthquake following that four-pointer, probably a smaller one around a 2.8 three-pointer. Uh, which they haven't got to yet but it looks like things are starting to increase here slightly across the northern california area and again uh, some movement up along the the uh, cascadia subduction zone northward just around the oregon northern california border things are still continuing to remain active out here across the area uh, look at the uh, information here on this four pointer still stuck at an automatic status that means the uh uh, has not been reviewed yet by a seismologist. Got another earthquake coming in. Looks like a 3.3 unless they downgraded it. Okay, there we go. So it's showing those two earthquakes now that I just mentioned. Four-pointer and then the secondary earthquake. That's a little under. I said 2.5 uh, to a three-pointer. That's a little bit larger, 3.3. Uh, but that's going to be the secondary earthquake right there. Four-pointer obviously going to bring up the amplitudes a little bit higher. But there's that secondary quake, a 3.3 right there on the graph. Back-to-back uh, -back earthquakes there just tells me that uh, things are not done yet out here in terms of the adjustment across the area. This is a ways downward uh, into Northern California. And there we go. That's the depth I'm looking at, 17 miles, 17 miles. Now, that is associated with the Cascadia subduction zone. Those are not surface quakes. Those are subduction zone quakes down there uh, above the trimmer area. Now, the trimmer area, let me show you guys real quick. If you're new to the channel, Cascadia trimmer occurs. Let me show you guys the last week here of trimmer activity. Cascadia trimmer occurs down into the subduction zone of the Cascadia underneath Northern California. These are not surface uh, quakes. These are not even earthquakes. These are trimmers being reported about 35, 45 kilometers deep into this area of the subduction zone below the locked area. So as we get uh, the trimmer events here, that strains the area upstream here where the locked area is. And that's why we've been seeing elevated activity out here recently. And that is continuing. But that 17 mile deep earthquake here um, Got to watch that. A good possibility here that uh, this whole region may uh, experience something much larger. I've covered this quite a bit here in, the, in my last couple video updates here regarding the potential for a mega quake here along the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, you know, that, that uh, 17 miles deep there. Uh, not back up here where we're seeing the, uh, uh, the previous adjustment. This is deeper into the area of course it's going to go more right here on the map because it's underneath this area 17 miles deep so watch this region southern end of the cascadia subduction zone quite active out here in the last hour of course in the last couple weeks here we've seen elevated seismic activity out here uh, you know including that seven pointer but this activity more deeper a little bit deeper here into the region a couple quakes up along the cascadia some surface quakes up there uh, just got to be prepared Got to watch this pretty closely. Um, let me zoom in here and see what we got. Still underneath an automatic status here. It's kind of odd. Uh, the magnitude origins here, they went with an error reporting rate of a 0.28. Uh, that's actually higher than the 0.16 here. So I don't know why, but let's see. Got 157 stations reporting an average magnitude of 4.2. So this could get revised here. 
Uh, some of the stations reporting up to a five-pointer. These are the magnitudes over here by various reporting stations. I doubt it. I doubt if it's a 5.6, uh, but some of those stations are reporting a lot of fives in here. Good possibility that this could get revised to a larger magnitude, and um, you know that pretty much flatline. It did flatline the uh, Densmore station as well. Uh, Petrolia a little bit close. Well, these stations right here, pretty close to the epicenter of this earthquake right now, there in Northern California. So we'll continue to watch it, folks. Um, anybody reporting this earthquake? Far as feeling it, fairly deep. That's the significance of these deeper quakes here into the southern end of the Cascadia could be a warning. We've seen elevated tremor activity out there, as I noted. This is just the last week here of tremor activity, mainly across the southern end here of Northern California. That's adding the strain up here where that seven pointer struck. Of course, the seven pointer off of the plate boundary but the general idea here the strain being produced affects you know not only the subduction zone the cascadia but also nearby triple point boundaries such as the uh this area here the mendocino triple point region seven pointers struck a little bit further out here but uh, it's this whole area is underneath strain and a good section here of the cascadia is capable of producing an 8.4 that's upon a partial rupture a full rupture well, I think we know that. Uh, greater than a nine-pointer. Nine-pointer or above is what they're claiming upon a full rupture. So we'll continue to watch that report back on it. We've got some uh, interesting activity out there. As I've said in my previous videos, this is not over. If anything, you know, it's, it's still lurking. It's still increasing out here. We'll cover this and more in uh, the update video a little bit later on this evening. I know I'm still trying to get to the uh, member drawing here. I've just been swamped. Still under the weather, uh, kids going crazy, you name it. So I don't even know if I'm going to get to the member drawing today, um, but I'll try to. Got about 74 members there on the uh, member status. Uh, but when I uh, get it all ready, you guys will definitely know. All right, we'll cover this and more in tonight's update video. Stay safe out there.